Remember that mixed numbers have a whole number part and a fractional part. First we will review how to change a mixed number into an improper fraction. Let's convert 2 and 5 eighths into an improper fraction. So first we're going to take the whole number times the denominator, add back the numerator, and the entire thing will go over the denominator. So 2 times 8 is 16. Add the numerator, and it goes back over this original denominator. It's easier to do than it is to write the steps. You don't have to write the steps. I just wanted to show you for later. But it's 2 times 8 is 16, plus 5 gives us 21 put it back over the original denominator. Next we'll remember how to convert an improper fraction into a mixed number. So we're going to change 7 fourths into a mixed number. You're going to divide with a long division denominator into the numerator. So we're going to do 4 into 7. It'll go one time, multiply back, subtract, and your remainder goes back over your divisor as a fraction. So 7 fourths is equal to 1 and 3 fourths. Next we're going to look at the arithmetic of mixed numbers. So first we'll look at multiplication and division. Our rules, we will change mixed numbers into improper fractions and then we will just follow the rules for multiplication or division of fractions. For our first problem, we're going to multiply 5 ninths times 4 and 1 fifth. So we have to change the 4 and 1 fifth over to an improper fraction. So we're going to do 4 times 5 is 20, plus 1 is 21, and put it back over the original denominator, which is 5. So 5 ninths times 21 fifths. Remember with multiplication of fractions, this is where you can cancel on the diagonal if you have any common factors. So if we check on this diagonal, we have a common factor of 5. So we can divide both by 5. 5 goes into 5 one time and one time. On the other diagonal, we have a common factor of 3. So we can divide those by 3. 3 will go into 9 three times. And 3 into 21 will go 7 times. And now we'll multiply across numerators and denominators. 1 times 7 is 7, and 3 times 1 is 3. Uh, so 7 thirds, I'm happy with that answer because in algebra we usually prefer an improper fraction. However, in this section in your book, they're going to switch it back over to a mixed number because it had mixed numbers originally. So we'll go ahead and do that, but I would accept either on a test. And so to change 7 thirds back to a mixed number, remember we divide denominator into numerator. So we will do 3 into 7. Goes 2 times, multiply back. 2 times 3 is 6. Subtract. And the remainder goes back over the divisor. So 1 third. So 7 thirds or 2 and 1 third. Next we'll look at a division. 5 divided by 3 and 3 fourths. First we'll change these mixed numbers into improper fractions. Um, for the 5, to make it look like a fraction, we will put it over 1. We're still in division form here. We need to change our mixed number to an improper fraction. So whole number times denominator, add back the numerator. 3 times 4 is 12, 13, 14, 15, back over the 4. Now for division, remember you have to change to multiplication and invert the divisor. So our first piece stays the same. It's going to change from division to multiplication. And we're going to invert our divisor. So it will become 4 over 15. 
Once we have multiplication of fractions, remember that's where you can cancel on your diagonals if you have a common factor. On this diagonal, we have a common factor of 5, so we can divide by 5. 5 goes into 5 one time, and into 15 it will go 3 times. On the other diagonal, there's nothing we can divide out. We don't care about 1. That's not going to help us. And so now we'll multiply across. 1 times 4 is 4, and 1 times 3 is 3. So the answer is 4 thirds. I am happy with that answer, but they are going to switch it over in your book or computer on this section because it had a mixed number originally. So we will also do that. So we'll need to divide denominator into the numerator. 3 into 4 will go one time, multiply back, subtract. Your remainder goes back over your divisor. So 4 thirds or 1 and 1 third. For addition and subtraction of mixed numbers, we have two techniques that we can use. We can use an old arithmetic vertical style where we work on the fractions and we work on the whole numbers. Or we can work in horizontal notation, uh, changing everything over to improper fractions. First, we'll work a problem in old arithmetic style, working on the fractions and then working on the whole numbers. Remember, to add fractions, you have to have a common denominator. So we need a common denominator for these fractions. Looks like 15 will work. So we have to work on the first fraction. We have a 5 and we want a 15. So we're going to need to multiply it by 3 on the numerator and denominator. And this will give us 9 fifteenths. This one already had the 15, so we're good. Now we'll work with our fractions. The rule is keep the denominator and combine the numerator. And then we'll do our whole numbers. Uh, we're not allowed to leave an answer like this, though. If you have a whole number part, you cannot leave an improper fraction with it. The trouble is this is more than 1. So they want us to take the 1 out of this and combine it with the whole numbers. 17 over 15 is equal to 1 and 2 fifteenths. And so they want you to take the 1 and combine it to get 32 and 2 fifteenths. So you have to remember, don't have a whole number part and an improper fraction together. You need to take the 1 out of it or more and add it to the whole number part. Let's look at working this same problem in a horizontal format uh, so you can see some of the pros and cons of each technique. Um, first, we have to change the improper fractions. So we're going to do 23 times 5, which is 115. Add back the 3. This will give us 118 over 5. And then we'll change and multiply 8 times 15. This gives us 120, and then we will add back the 8 to get 128 over 15. Now, to add the fractions, remember you need a common denominator. The 15 is going to work, but that means we have to work some on this first fraction. It's going to need to be multiplied by a factor of 3 to get the 15. And so 118 times 3 gives us 354. So you can kind of see the downside for this particular problem in horizontal form because the numbers get so big. This one already has the 15, so we can just bring it down. And now the rule is keep the denominator and combine the numerators. So 354 plus 128 gives us 482. We definitely want to change that back to a mixed number so we can see if it's equivalent. So we're going to do 15 
into 482. 315s are 45. And 15 into 32 will go 2 times. I'm out of room there, but 2 times 15 is 30. You're going to have 2 left over. So 2 over 15, 32 and 2 fifteenths. So we did get the same answer. But for this particular problem, this was a little bit more work. Let's look at a subtraction problem of mixed numbers, and we'll look at it with both techniques. First, in the vertical format, we'll do the fractions, and then we'll do the whole numbers. Uh, to subtract, we make sure about a common denominator. This one does have a common denominator. Um, but we have two ninths, and we're trying to take away seven ninths. Now, I've been telling you all term, you could do that, and you get negative five ninths. But here, you're not going to be allowed to do that because you have some positive whole numbers. They don't want a positive whole number and a negative fraction for an answer. So we're going to have to borrow out of the whole numbers. We're, bo we're going to borrow 1, which will leave 7. And we have to combine it with the 2 nights that we had. So 1 is equal to 9 ninths, and then we can add that to the two ninths that we had, which will give us 11 ninths. And then we're able to subtract the 7 ninths. Keep your common denominator. Subtract your numerators. 11 minus 7 is 4. And then we can do the whole numbers. 7 minus 3 will give us 4. So 4 and 4 ninths. If you had trouble in this part, we borrowed the one whole to combine it with two nights. An alternate way to do it is you have one and two nights. Just convert that then to a, an improper fraction. One times nine is nine. Ten, eleven. Put it back over the nine. So that's an alternate way rather than changing the one to nine nights. Whichever way clicks better for you. Let's look at this problem in the horizontal format. We would need to change our mixed numbers into improper fractions. So first we have 8 times 9 is 72, plus 2 is 74, and put it back over the 9. And 3 times 9 is 27, plus 7 will be 34, put it back over the 9. Now to subtract, Fractions, we make sure about a common denominator, which we do have. So we'll keep that common denominator and subtract on the numerators. And 74 minus 34 is going to give us 40. I'm okay with that answer. It's pretty big, though, so let's divide it and just make sure we have the same answer. So we'll do 9 into 40, and that will go 4 times. Four nines are 36. We have four left over to go back over the divisor. So for this problem, working horizontally, you don't have to worry about borrowing, and the numbers didn't get too big. So you decide which technique you like the best.